Good evening, folks. Joe Baker with Trade Pilot Pro going over the daily market action as well as tomorrow's S&P levels, breakouts, and breakdowns. If there is any one single indicator out there that will define a trend, okay, and what I mean as a trend as a, a trading channel, something that's strong and predictable, it's this Andrews Pitchfork. And I know it's shameless to uh, come on YouTube and promote things uh, like our auto fork, but it it just has served me so well in understanding what this market's trying to tell you, um, not getting head faked, not getting pushed around. Um, it's just such a nice system, and it is auto. Okay, it's done automatically. You don't have to go into your drawing tools and try to, you know, come up with a the, the geometrical shape of them, they automatically populate. They work so on anything right down to a, a tick chart, to a one minute, to a five minute uh, intraday. I mean, it, it really are nice, nice, nice tools. Because um, this is on a weekly, and I've been showing you this, and I kind of giggled um, a few, few days back saying that I should have put this on a weekly, and it would have given me a better perspective of what this market's truly doing. And again, as we saw that enormous run-up okay um, and here we are we're still within the channel now it's a big channel okay this is a weekly channel but even still we are still in the channel we're still holding it okay so it, it just puts things in perspective so if this thing was you know facing upward or sideways I would know we're in a sideways market we're in an upward market right now we're still in a downtrend this is telling me on a weekly we're still in a downtrend and as you know the adage goes the trend is your friend until the end. And this will tell you when it's the end. Um, so that being said, I just wanted to show you, you know, how this still looked on a weekly. Okay, and we're going to shoot over and I'm going to show it to you on a daily. Okay, here's the daily. All right. And you know, <laughs> obviously this looks crazy, but as you still, it's still holding its pattern. Okay, which is amazing. Um you know these these areas are not closing above and they're not closing below so the channel is right in here as you see by me moving this cursor all right it's still in a down channel so what would what would negate this would be a close above 69 70 area uh, we know that 71 71 50 and 73 area is you know that those tough little areas that we've been bouncing back and again we've mentioned 75s um, so, you know, a close above that would probably, as we know, because above the 75, we got about the 83 level, okay? So we know as we, as we approach 75 and we still have momentum, we can get to that 83 level. That's been that next area. And again, above that, you know, I continue to mention the 92 to 94 area. So these are the trading channels this market has been, you know, going in all summer. Uh, of course, we break down, we break below, we have the Fannie bailout, we come back up again. Um, so we had, you know, all this price rejection on this this uh, daily here. We had total indecision today, and uh, we will see, you know, what ultimately and what ultimately ends up happening going forward. Uh, we are fairly close to this upper parallel, so I, I did want to snap this line in here around the 69 area to to tell you that if we do get a pop tomorrow and we're able to hold above and close above the 70 area. I think we'll get a little bit of a move. What I'm saying is we get out of this upper parallel, okay, and we take this area out, we could get a run up to this 90 and then possibly back up to this 1300 area. Otherwise, we are still in the downtrend. Right now, the consensus is still down, okay, um, but I'm just letting you know intraday wise um, if it helps some, you know, what would be the area that would, you know, cause the trend to reverse. And I, I I found this very useful using um, you know daily forks. Okay, all right. Let's get over to the um, levels for tomorrow. Okay, line in the sand. That is my bullish bearish line. Would be 1267.50. Okay, you know that we've been running between 1268, 1263, 1267, 1263. That area is that what I call that rocky road. All right, above 1267.50, we've got 1271.50. These are all 
very well-known levels. Um, I think at this point where we've been trading them in the last three months, they're no secret. Uh, I think the secret is knowing where the breakouts and breaks downs and targets are. Um, we got a breakout here at 73.75. Um, the irony of that is that has been a big level and uh, two different calculations come up with it. Uh, again, 76.50, 81, 83.75, up to 87 to the upside. Again, to the downside, underneath 67.50, we're looking for, come on, guys, 63. You guys should know these better than me by now. Uh, 60 and a quarter. Okay, that was that area I had mentioned uh, last week that I said if we took it out, it would be a straight shot down to 50. The really, the, the areas in 50 are not holding up very well. Uh, so between 60 and 50, we have to start building some of those areas, kind of working on them. And, you know, the market will work on them and, and, and make them stronger. So, the, you know, a little more tougher. But right now, they are um, like a, as they all say, a hot knife through butter. Uh, 56.50 is one of the areas. 52.50 is another area. And then 46.75 would be the ultimate target. Uh, this 46.75 is a strong area. Okay, this one I would consider very strong. It uh, worked out today as a Fibonacci level in our room. And uh, as you notice, the market uh, came down to that area uh, and bounced. God, I think it bounced about 10 points when it came near it. We actually had three program buys right at that time. In fact, um, yeah, I do have a little bit of time. You know what? I still have that chart up um, from what I showed in the room today. I'm actually going to scoot over and show that to you. I, was, it, I thought it was very neat because I... You know, we all heard about the program buys and sells, and it's always that um, that adage of they, you know, they're coming to get us, or they're doing this, or they're doing that. Uh, I thought this was kind of neat because I showed the room today how they actually did do that today. Um, and they hit the market with three in a row, uh, three real heavy buys to defend that area. And I thought that was uh, quite impressive, actually. And I think we rallied um, about 10 points off that initial hit. And then that kept the uh, momentum going right into the uh, up into the close area. Um, so again, I still got about three minutes left before uh, YouTube says it's too long and I've babbled too much. Um, so let me just scoot over that real quick and show you. Okay, here we are. Okay, it was actually right around two o'clock. And again, this is one of our trade zones uh, between the two and the two fifteen time frame. We look for the market to start heating up. Uh, the fellows in the uh, Chicago pits are getting back from lunch. Um, they feel energized a little bit and uh, as you know you can always go to indexarb.com and get these levels and put your premium chart up I know a lot of people uh, trade off this you have to remember now they're gonna hit this market with buys and sells and then probe the market so it's not that they're hitting it with buys or sells it's how the market handles it so if you have some internal market charts and you know how to read that correctly um, what they're trying to do is, is basically probe the market to see if those buys and sells are being sold into or if they're being accepted so here's three hits in a row and you can see what the market did it got down around this 47 area and it, it just literally rocketed right up okay and it went right into the close so um, you know this is something that I just was noticing you know in the room today I said wow you know they probably might defend this area you know because I was speaking of the 4675 and, and what an area it was and uh, again, I had this chart still up from, um, you know, from doing the room today. And uh, I just thought you might be interested in seeing that. Again, if you have TradeStation, it's dollar sign E-S-I-N-X. And then you go to indexarb.com and they will give you the values. Okay, today's um, buy program would be triggered at 2.46. The sell would be at 1.76. Okay. So you can see they kind of tapped off a sell program here, uh, tapped off another one here, and then they came in, and then they hit it with three buys right up to the upside. So uh, that being said, thought that little cute tidbit of information there. All right, I'm at nine minutes, and I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be kicked out, so to speak, here from uploading this video. So all right, guys, take care. Uh, again, any questions or comments, I'll try to answer them as uh, quick as possible. Otherwise, I will talk to you tomorrow.